Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from 2 Samuel chapters 4, 5, 6, Proverbs chapter 5 and Romans chapter 16. If you're new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. 2 Samuel chapter 4 verse 4 Jonathan, son of Saul, had a son who was lame in both feet. He was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. His nurse picked him up and fled, but as she hurried to leave, he fell and became disabled. His name was Mephibosheth. 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 25 So David did as the Lord commanded him, and he struck down the Philistines all the way from Gibeon to Gezer. 2 Samuel chapter 6 verse 19 Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins to each person in the whole crowd of Israelites, both men and women, and all the people went to their homes. Proverbs chapter 5 verse 21 For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all your paths. Romans chapter 16 verse 20 The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. God the Almighty, our Heavenly Father, watches over us, examines us, and showers his grace upon us. When we submit ourselves to God Almighty, and give into his hands and authority and control over our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. He will watch over us 24 by 7. We cannot hide ourselves from God. Adam and Eve tried to hide themselves, but God knew what they did in secret and he called them out. Today may we confess our sins before God and ask forgiveness through Jesus Christ and enter into his holiness forever as God is watching. Thanks be to God for the gift of salvation. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.